out, you need to create it like create something new out of it, but need not be dissolved or something. Like uh, as it is now, we can change the working agendas not about that. Okay. Yeah, so the delegate would have to say that it need not be dissolved or removed. It can be changed or the procedures can be changed to make it work better. Alright. Thank you, delegate. You may be seated. Delegate of India. The topic is just discussing the basis. So, the delegate of India would like to state that um, whatever is hap uh, happens with the UN or the formation of a new international agency, India will continue to remain non-aligned uh, in regard to this crisis. And this is one of the most significant uses of the non-aligned movement since it was first introduced. And um, India hopes that even if the United Nations is not able to live up to the expectations it was once meant to be, it will aim to continue to support countries part of the non-aligned movement and hope that it can form as a, uh, a, a smaller UN for the time being. Delegate, you can um, can you just say that you would that India be a member of the non-line movement. I'm just asking what, what you meant. Um, India being a member of the non-line movement is indifferent to whether the UN continues or not. No, the delegate of India would obviously prefer that the UN uh, is continued. But if it, if it does happen to dissolve, then you're okay with that? Uh, no, all that the delegate is saying is that even if it dissolves, India will continue to support countries in the non-aligned movement so that they can uh, function as a uh, okay. temporary sort of view. As a temporary? No, so they can like uh, temporarily uh, take actions that used to be uh, taken by the UN for the countries part of the non-aligned movement. Name one such action. Peace giving operations? Yeah, the, uh, uh, I would uh, suggest the delegate would suggest the um, uh, non-aligned movement. So the country is the non-aligned movement, another country is the non-aligned movement. Uh, Yugoslavia. Um, Delegate is Yugoslavia exists. Okay. Uh, Egypt. Um. Okay. So you want countries like Egypt, which is which has been going through political turmoil for years and years, and India, to unilaterally or bilaterally Egypt and India, to intervene in countries that the UN body consisting of 193 member nations to intervene in countries on behalf of the UN and take peacekeeping operations to ensure peace and security in countries like Congo, Mali, Senegal, Gambia. The delegate of India believes that uh, there, uh, now there are many countries in the non-aligned movement and uh, if not, it's not able to live up to how the UN was, it can at least take some action. Does the non-aligned movement have a regular meeting? Does, does the non-aligned movement meet is an organization? No. Then how do you expect something which is not even an organization to replace the most powerful and best funded international organization in the history of the world? It's not meant to be a full replacement for it. Even, even partly. You don't have a, you don't need. You don't meet, the non-line movement doesn't meet, there's no meeting. So, this is basically just, um, uh, so what the delegate of India proposes is that like a sort of block is formed of these countries that don't want to align with uh, US or Russia, and then they can just uh, help to support themselves in this global crisis. So, uh, so you are saying you are not aligned, right? So from that can I infer that you do not think the Russian Federation is morally and legally wrong in this situation? Um, the delegate of India would just like to uh, keep a neutral stance on this why, issue why? to avoid, uh, because um, in, in case we chose to take a side... Uh, answer two questions. 